What happens when you throw a ball into the air? Does it keep going up, 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 until it disappears into space? Of course not. We know that, all objects that go up, must come back down. This is because of gravity. Gravity, is the force that holds everything in our solar system and galaxy together. It is what keeps the planets in orbit around the sun, and it is what keeps stars in orbit around the center of a galaxy. Imagine a big soccer field. The sun is like the center circle, and the planets are like players running around on the field. Just like the players have to run in a certain pattern to stay on the field, the planets have to follow certain paths, called orbits, to stay in the solar system. And just like the players have to run at a certain speed to stay in the game, the planets have to move at a certain speed to stay in orbit. Now let's talk about the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is like a big, spinning spiral of stars. Each star is like a player on a giant field. And just like the players have to run in certain patterns to stay on the field, the stars have to follow certain orbits to stay in the galaxy. The center of the galaxy is like the center midfielder, and all the other stars are running around it. And just like the players have to run at a certain speed to stay in the game, the stars have to move at a certain speed to stay in orbit. If you were to build a model of this concept, you could create a simple elliptical orbit model that is made of cardboard and strings. Or, you can use computer visualizations of elliptical orbits to show how the planets move around the sun. Gravity is what makes all of this happen. It's like a giant invisible hand that is pushing and pulling all the players, that is, the planets and stars, in the right direction. It's the force that keeps everything in our solar system and galaxy together.